Hi everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back and trying to form a normal schedule again. Um, the last two months have been very busy with purchasing a new home and moving over the holidays. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me and hopping back in. Today, I have the absolute pleasure of working with the Layered Life Kits Candy House Kit. And I am showing you here, there are three packets of gorgeous embellishments that are included in this kit. And this is how I, when I receive a kit, that I what I do with them. Um, I will put like, some for this one the foodie elements I put in one stack um, the non-foodie elements in another um, some word strips in a little stack and then I grouped all of my circles together all of my arrows together and then those pages there um, that show the packets that those ephemeras come in I actually keep those because you guys those inserts are double-sided and they work for pattern paper um, so yeah I use everything when it comes down to these kits and I love, love the color scheme this month. So I am working in my November TN because, you know, moving stinks and sets everything way behind. So I'm still in November. Um, <laughs> and I am documenting a picture of a selfie I took of myself when my mom and I were holiday shopping um, at Target. And it was this pink flamingo wearing a Christmas hat. And it was a pink flamingo wearing a Christmas hat hat and I was wearing it and I had to have it and it was so stinking funny. So I am documenting three selfies that I took um, in these three frames that were included in this kit and I sized my photos down to fit behind them um, and I decided to lay them out on the right side as such. Um, I did so because those frames there is a colored part and then there's also a like a brown or a dark yellow border um so I kept though that yellow it centered right down the middle and that was kind of my theory um and then there were these strips included in the kit and I thought well this would be a perfect like basket weave feature to put over there but the basket weave part um, didn't end up showing because I had to use this <laughs> this piece of ephemera that said hell yeah um, just because it was the moment and it'll it'll tie in with the journaling um, here later on but even though I didn't see all of that fun weaving that I had going on um, I still kept with this pattern um, I thought that it was so stinking cute and I loved these like little they remind me of like peppermint candy cane strips um, but I, I had I had to use them they were so cool so I went ahead and um, used my tape runner got those down um, and then these two horizontal pieces I do end up trimming in a couple of different places because they are going to go behind that large ephemera but they're also going to overlap onto the other page I wanted it to fill in um, that empty space there beside to the left of my center photo, uh, but they weren't long enough. So I trimmed them so that they would be. Um, and you can see there's going to be a little gap there whenever I remove that uh, larger ephemera um, right there on that top one. And nobody will ever know that it wasn't big enough. Um, it's just the magic of trimming and cutting and hiding. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and get those into that um, space and then go ahead and tape this large piece down um, and then that is the the four large main elements I am going to create a couple other clusters um, I do love these flowers and the colors matched perfectly so I'm going to use three of them and create a visual triangle um, I do color coordinate these a bit to match the colors of the uh, other em embellishments that are around them um, just so that they don't stand out so so much now these pieces were actually the insert pieces from the frames that I used on the right pages. Um, normally anybody would throw these away, but I don't throw anything away, I use everything. So I'm actually using them to create three other small clusters to fill in some white space on my spread. Um, the pieces like this are great for it and I do end up cutting bits off that I'll save for another spread. Um, I will use these as three different areas to add in some I, I was going to journal in them, but then it wasn't large enough for me to journal, so I will actually add in some word strips um, later on. But then I found on the sticker sheet these really fun um, circle stickers, and again, color matching, so I went ahead and grabbed three of those, uh, put those down with them, um, and then I wanted something on the bottom of that large center, and that white piece doesn't fit, so I'm going to end up grabbing a label for my stash later on. Um, I wanted something for my date um, and I didn't think that it would it wasn't white enough to put on there um, 
so then I grab this piece here. Um, it was another sticker, and I'm trying to think now what it says. Let me grab my notebook. Um, it says, hey there. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that down above it. And then I grab a pink arrow um, from the bin, and I add that to my center photo. I thought that little space there just needed something a little bit more. Um, so this is where I'm going to bring in the word strips to put in those three boxes. Um, I love these word strips from Tim Holtz. They are great add-ins for these types of things and for art journals. The phrases that I'm using today, it says, be in love with your life, be you bravely. And um, I love that for this spread and um, for the journaling and such that I'm going to document with it. Um, so I am going to add in those pieces there. I will put in um, that arrow. Will I'll glue that down. I do remove that and put it back on there just because I had originally glued it, glued it uh, down a little crooked. Um, so I'm going to go into my label stash and I'm going to find some pale pink labels. I will use the smallest one of those and um, I will go ahead and put that right below there. And that is where my date is going to land for the spread. Now I do go in my stash and I grab some enamel dots because I can never have enamel dots. It's one of my favorites. And I found these super sized, oversized enamel dots that I have had forever. Um, I do believe that they are a freckled fawn piece. Um, I don't know if they have them anymore. I've been hoarding them. Um, and I thought they were so bold that it fit with this spread perfectly. So I use that um, as a main focal part for my uh, enamel dots. And then I grab some of the smaller colored ones and just tried to sprinkle them around the same areas with just um, a little bit of color creating, you know, still sticking with that visual triangle. But at the end, you know, there is a lot that is just going on in the spread and that visual triangle just goes away. So we just ended up doing things in threes. Um, <laughs> I do have this heart sheet of enamel dots. There was the perfect color, that yellow orange. Um, it was perfect color match. So I grabbed that. And then I also had this sticker sheet of um, puffy stickers that had some small arrows on it. And I do end up using a few of those. Um, that is going to finish the embellishing part of it. I do add my journaling in here down on the bottom right in that empty white space. Um, and then in the very end, uh, the last bit that I do to this, because that was black and the ink that I used for my date stamp was black, I felt like it needed just a little bit more black to help pull all of the, um, pull everything together. So I'm going to reach into my stash and pull out my Mission Gold watercolors because I don't have everything unpacked yet. This is what I had at hand that I could use for black watercolors because I'm going to do a little bit of splattering. Um, so this is just what I had at hand. You can use anything really. Um, I'm going to cover up with my packaging um, so that I don't get my photos all yucky and just add in some little splatters here and there and then that's going to call my spread done. Um, thanks you guys so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate you sticking with me through my transition and move. Hopefully this is going to be the start of a schedule again in my near future <laughs> and until next time thanks so much and have a great day.